So as I was saying, for uh, simultaneous increase in both demand and supply, equilibrium quantity will increase, but then equilibrium price might rise for or even remain the, the, the same. So to that one, the effect is ambiguous. Okay. All right, so that's what they are summarizing here. There will be increase in equilibrium quantity, but then the change in the equilibrium price is ambiguous. Why is it ambiguous? One, because increase in demand will raise price. Okay, when you increase demand, price are supposed to go up, and then when you increase supply, price are supposed to fall. So one is causing it to go up, the other is causing it to fall. So whether it goes up or it falls would depend on the the strength of the, the two. You, you understand that's why if demand increases more than supply, the price will go up, and, or if supply increases more than demand, the price will fall. But then, if the magnitudes are the same, then there will be no change in price at all. Okay. There will be no change in price. All right. Now, let's look at uh, a decrease in both demand and supply. Now, um, this is what is going to happen. So, supply force, demand also force. So, here too, the same thing. The price will be ambiguous, but then the, the quantity, it will definitely fall. The equilibrium could be here, where price will go up. The equilibrium could be here, here, where price will go for, or as it has been drawn, there's no change at all, okay? So for this one to equilibrium, so whenever they move together, the price, the change in price is ambiguous, but then the quantity will move in the same direction as the movement of demand and supply, okay? And supply, all right. So there's a summary decrease, uh, it will definitely decrease the equilibrium quantity. That's if they both decrease, if both demand and supply decrease. But then the change in price is ambiguous. Why? Decrease in demand will lower price, and then increase uh, decrease in supply will, will raise price. So we wouldn't know uh, whether it's going to increase or decrease. It depends on the magnitudes. Now let's mix them up. There's an increase in demand, there's a decrease in supply. Okay, increase in demand, decrease in supply. So here, demand has increased, so it has shifted to the right. Supply has decreased, so it has shifted to the left. Now, this one to ask for price, it will definitely go up. But then quantity is ambiguous. See, when you increase demand, price will go up. When you decrease supply, price will go up. So here, the two effects are reinforcing each other. So price will definitely go up. What about quantity? Okay, for quantity. When price goes up, demand falls. When price goes up, supply increases. So we wouldn't know what is going to happen to the quantity until we know the various magnitudes. So if they are moving in opposite directions, we'll be very certain where price will go. But then for quantity, we can never know. For quantity, we can never know. So this one, if the demand increases and supply falls, price will go up. But for quantity, it's ambiguous. They can decrease increase or even remain the same okay so that is for this and then the last one uh, increase in demand a decrease in demand and then increase in supply okay so please don't 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 chill the effects just know how to draw the diagram that's so you just see the effect there so here demand for supply increases when demand falls Okay, the price is supposed to fall. When supply increases, supply is supposed to uh, price is supposed to fall. So definitely price will fall. What about quantity? When price falls, demand increases. When price falls, supply decreases. So we don't know. We don't know whether the quantity is going to increase or it's going to fall. So it depends. It depends on their various magnitudes. Okay. So definitely this will lower the equilibrium price. But then the quantity is ambiguous. Why? Because a decrease in demand decreases quantity, increase in supply increases quantity. So we wouldn't know okay, until we are aware of the magnitudes. Now, uh, a practical question. Why did the price of coffee soar in 2010 and 2011? Now, uh, in 2009, it was $1.25 per pound. So at this point A, here, 1.25 but then when we go to 2011 look at where it has got into three dollars per pound why how do we explain this 
when you go to the market for coffee we can easily explain that okay we can easily explain that and this is the explanation assuming this was the initial equilibrium at point e 1.25 dollars per pound they were producing thousand in millions per pounds per year and then there were heavy rains okay heavy rains and that would definitely de destroy some of the uh, coffee farms so what is going to happen to supply supply would de decrease so supply kept on decreasing until it goes to point b this is the new equilibrium when su supply decreases holding demand constant price will go up and then equilibrium quantity will what or four. So price increased to three dollars per pound, and the quantity fell from thousand to what to eight hundred. Okay, so this is a practical example of what we were we were looking at. All right, so uh, this is where we end. As always, go through this, and then uh, in our next lecture, we will go through some of the questions together when we are done then you take the quiz again. Okay.